repetition, reflection, linear relationship, tones, and materials or focal points for my installation. As I repeatedly placed my blue pots onto the base of the hanging plaster squares, the mirror central to the square base reflected the dozen of blue forms to further double this amount visible, depending on where the viewer is standing, and even reflecting the amongst the sphere installation with the pewter ceramic glaze spheres. Using the seven gold terracotta cubes and two of the three mirror cubes, I create pillars on the ground, a hint of Bosco Sodi's gold cubes I have been exploring throughout my practice. The last mirror cube lays on the cracked surface of the ceramic tiles, reflecting the dozens of glazed metallic spheres, reflecting their repetitive organic pattern at every angle and even catching glimpses of the work across and besides it depending on where the viewer is standing. To continue the organic floor texture, I use a warm brown sand which I previously used at my exhibition Squaring the Circle, a basement arts project to display the terracotta cubes. The warm burnt orange tones of the sand allows the gold leaf to stand out, creating an earthy environment for the unworldly cubes a contrast which is reflected throughout my practice. The cool silver tones of the two mirrored cubes placed on top of the terracotta pillars create a harmonious contrast as depending on where the viewer is positioned, the mirrors reflect the tones from the sand, the gold leaf, the terracotta and the work surrounding it, which embody organic, neutral tones. The shelves are added to create a room-like environment, similar to the hanging plaster squares which resemble a child's mobile, as I want the viewer to feel as though they are looking into a mature adult room, which embodies my practice and my exploration in self-identity and belonging through aesthetically placed body of work exploring material, organic textures and an instigation for the viewer to take part in the work and explore their own relativity in the world. In this gallery space, every technical aspect of my installation has to be as close to perfection in order to reflect my work as a professional artist. A different style of exhibiting than a basement arts project where the exhibition space was more raw, organic and robust. This installation rides on straight lines, accurate geometry and high quality created techniques. Adding spotlight lamps, covering wires, painting over scratched surfaces, sanding plaster pieces, covering screws with white paint, touching up gold leaves, polishing mirrors, removing and adding, rearranging and changing were part of creating a polished exhibition space. I used a white shelving unit made for bedrooms as a way to further articulate a living space with compartments. Each item has their place, neatly tucked away or presented in a way where the viewer has to bend down, move sideways, look upwards, move backwards. Every viewer will have their own journey within my installation. Not one person will view my body of work in the same way as another. Each viewer will appropriate and view the work how they wish to, seeing angles that others may have missed and reflections they have not seen due to their current situation, which appears or disappears as they move away. Mm -hmm.